now I'm going to work out the an estimate for the wind direction for that particular point on my uh, synoptic chart. So a typical synoptic chart as provided by the Met Office and if we look at my position here this is the position which we are at. So the first thing I have to do is to draw a line going parallel approximately to the closest isobars. So I'm just lining it up and I'm going to draw a line through my point going through there. I've extended the line so that it crosses a meridian at this point here because that is how I'm going to work out my direction. Now I don't know which end the wind is blowing. It's either blowing coming from here coming down there or it's coming from here and blowing up that way. The way in which I do this is to look at the isobars and using Bayes Ballot's law. Bayes Ballot's law states that if you're facing the wind the low will be on your right. So if I look at this one this isobar here follow it round it goes to 1016 millibars. If I go to this one it is 1012 millibars. So if I'm at this end this one is 1016 this one is 1012 so obviously this is the higher and it's on my right which means I'm on the wrong end. So I therefore need to colour in the other end to make my arrow. So that is the direction of the geostrophic wind speed. At the service however we approximate the inflow to be about 20 degrees uh, over the sea. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to draw another line approximately 20 degrees going towards the lower isobar swiveling through my point. Now as this is an estimate of wind speed you don't have to get a protractor or anything out you're just estimating 20 degrees. So that is the direction. Now this is my north-south here. Ninety degrees to that east west I'm approximating that to be about 45 degrees so if that angle is 45 degrees that is the south so I estimate the wind is going to be southwesterly 2 to 5 degrees